Um, all right, so I lead the Energy Efficient Multimedia Systems Group at MIT. We look at dealing with uh, you know, large, high-dimensional data in an energy efficient manner. So I'll just first go through by motivating like uh, what we focus on. So in our opinion, video is like the biggest form of big data, right? So just, you know, some statistics, which I'm sure you've all uh, heard of, you know, for instance, if you look, think of communication, video accounts for 70% of all today's internet traffic. Um, so, you know, basically 70% of all bits that flow through the internet is representing a pixel. Um, if you think of the amount of video content that's being generated just from the consumer level, over 300 hours of videos being uploaded to YouTube every minute. Actually, this statistic is two years old, so now you can imagine that number is much higher. Um, and then also, and also Facebook is a lot of video now too, not just YouTube. And then also over 500 million hours of video is collected for video surveillance every day worldwide. So that's a huge amount of video. It's obviously not you know, feasible for people to uh, watch it in person. You need computers to watch it um, or some form of machine to process it automatically. A lot of this video is collected on battery operated devices like your phones, um, your uh, tablets, even drones. Um, and ideally you'd like to do the processing and understanding of the video content on the phone itself, on these embedded devices themselves. But obviously the one of the issues is that the energy there is limited due to the battery capacity, right? And the battery capacity is limited due to cost, size, and so on. So often what happens is that we push, we compress the video, we push it onto the cloud for processing, but even uh, on the cloud and in the data centers, the amount of processing that you can do there is limited in terms of power and heat dissipation, right? So regardless of where you're processing this video, uh, either locally or in the cloud, you really need energy efficient pixel processing. And that's kind of the motivation of the work that goes on in my lab. 